on 15th of September 2022, Rene Jr. made a post on his official Twitter handle, which is proving to be significant politically speaking. It was made just a few days after William Samuel Arapruto had been sworn in as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. This is the post which Raila Dinga Jr. made. He's saying, over the last month, I've been silently reflecting on the current political situation. Should I need to say anything, it shall be through my official channel. I remain Raila Jr. From that tweet alone, Raila Jr. made two important announcements. That number one, he's going to use his official channels, which is uh, Facebook, Twitter, and any other official channel to communicate to the country. Number two, he also indicated that he remains Raila Jr., not Raila Udinga Jr. So that ended. That was on 15th of September. Then on 5th of uh, September, Raila Jr. also made another post because for me, I'm seeing uh, a case where Raila, Raila Jr. is actually joining politics. And I want, to, I want us to go through why I, I strongly believe so. On, on 5th of October, this is what Raila Jr. posted. Called on my brother, Honorable Ken Gondi, and wished him all the best as he takes up his role as the Nairobi speaker. May God grant him guidance and wisdom. For those who remember, Ken Ngondi is the speaker. He is a member of ODM party. So Raila Jr. went to his office just to say thank you. And uh, in fact, I think that's the first political uh, office Raila Jr. was stepping into after the election, <clears throat> which is also significant. And then, that was on 5th. Then if you go to Raila Dinga's page on 9th, which was yesterday, he made another post. And that post is actually the basis of this analysis. Raila Jr. is joining politics. And this is what he's posting. This morning, my sister Winnie and I attended mass at Christ the King and the Church of God, Laini Saba, Kibra, respectively. In everything, we give thanks to God. Again, from the time of election, this is the first gathering Raila Jr. is posting publicly. Probably has been attending others, but he chose to post this deliberately. And I'm, we are going to look at why he did that. Then later in the day, the same same day, he says, Always a great feeling watching upcoming footballers do their thing. I am pleased to have played a part in supporting Kibra, in supporting the Kibra Lainisaba Interbase League tournament. I plan on doing more of such in future. And you can clearly see Raila Jr. mingling with the people during the event. Yeah, I can see some faces I know. So that's Raila, Raila Jr. there with the teams. So which means Raila Dinga is officially in politics. So in this video, I want us to look at the behind the scenes moves by Raila Dinga Jr. to join politics. Before we do that, for those who are watching the channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. And I want to make a request to you guys for this particular video, please just press that thumbs up button now. Now let us get back to the main issue. Israel Udinga Jr. venturing into politics. And what would be the implication of his entry into politics? Raila, Raila Jr. has always caused storm in the country politically speaking. When Raila Odinga and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta were pushing for increase in VAT, Raila Jr. was totally against that move. 
and he made it known that majority of Kenya, uh, Kenyans actually sided with Raila Jr. That ended like that. Again, Raila Jr. was at the forefront pushing for, <laughs> for weed. And it's also on record. And on several occasions, Raila Odinga Jr. has always disagreed with ODM the way they were conducting their affairs. And in most cases, he has always <clears throat> enjoyed the support of Kenyans. But very few people had anticipated or expected Raila Jr. to join politics. The person most people had projected to join politics was the younger sister, Winnie Odinga. In fact, at some point, Mutai Nguni even made a post that Winnie Odinga would be the first female president of the Republic of Kenya. And indeed, in the last election, Winnie Odinga was actively involved. In fact, today, because Raila Odinga failed, she's getting a lot of backlash. Because so many people believe that she was kind of overbearing and that she, she operated just with her friends and <clears throat> frustrated almost everybody. But let us not get into that. Why do I have a strong feeling that Raila Jr. is now joining politics? Let us begin with the number one issue, which is the choice of Kibra for this particular event. Why do you think choice of Kibra is significant? The truth of the matter is that Kibra is considered as Raila Odinga's bedroom. Ken Okoth became member of parliament for Kibra <coughs> partly because of Raila Odinga. When he passed on, the brother also took over. The current member of parliament, Peter Orero, is a close associate of Raila Amulo Odinga. In fact, ahead of the elections, most people were speculating that Orero was holding brief for Rosemary in Kebra that it was going to be difficult to remove Imran if, she won, if he won this, the, the, the second term. But from what I'm suspecting now, <clears throat> the choice of Kebra means that's the entry point of Raila Jr. Kebra was the entry point of Raila Amulodinga. What I can't tell us at now is whether Raila Odinga Jr. is going to concentrate in Kibra first before venturing in national politics or is going to use Kibra as an entry into national politics. So the choice of Kibra is quite telling. It's Raila Odinga's bedroom. It means the sun can easily go up to the bedroom if you want. So that's number one. Number two, let us look at the presence of the sister during this event. Because Winnie Odinga had made an announcement to the effect that she's uh, retiring from active politics. I think she was under a lot of attacks <clears throat> and she was being blamed for the failure or for the, or for the om omissions of Azimio. So why do you think the sister accompanied her? Raila Jr. to the church and later on Raila Jr. gracing the tournament. For me, if you ask me, I'm seeing a situation where they were communicating to the country that Winnie is paving way for Raila Jr. So that if you had anticipated or you, if you had expected Winnie Odinga to join politics, then that's not going to be the case. The person who was going to take over is none other than <coughs> Raila Jr. And for me, that's why I'm seeing Winnie accompanying. That's why I saw Winnie accompanying uh, Raila Jr. Just to prove that indeed she's now out of politics. The person who is now venturing, going to venture into politics is Raila Jr. Number three is the timing. <coughs> why is the timing significant? Number one, William Ruto is now the president of the Republic of Kenya. And Raila Odinga was expected to easily defeat Ruto, but Ruto failed. So the timing is, is significant because the debate currently in this country is whether Raila Odinga should retire from politics or not. Remember, there's serious similarities between Raila Jr. and Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga was never handed over the leadership of Ford Kenya or of the Luo Nation. What I'm reading from Raila Jr. is also like he's going through the same same tactics where he is not expecting the father to hand him over either the Kibra seat or 
the national seat. So the timing is significant. Again, there is um, there is the discussion that Raila Odinga might not be on the ballot in 2022. So if Raila Odinga will not be on the ballot, and you know the Odingas are political family, then it would just be fair for Junior to contest as Junior and then win so that the name of the Odingas will still remain in politics. So the timing is important. The fourth thing which is also important is the fact that currently there is serious talks about Raila Odinga's succession politics in Luonyanza and even within Azimio. If you study Azimio very closely, Kalozo Musioka is now the face of Azimio. Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta are taking a backseat. In Luonyanza, there is serious talks on whether Raila Odinga should groom someone or someone should take over. There's that discussion. And Kidero is currently positioning himself. There is the emergence of Olido Wado, Walo. Someone like Okoto Bado has now been subdued. People like Orengo were waiting on the wings. So Raila Odinga's succession is also something which can really motivate Raila Jr. to fight for his own space. And lastly, is the 2022 equation. And that answer, the answer to the 2022 equation will also determine whether <clears throat> Junior is entering into the political scene or not. The truth of the matter is that in 2022, it will be rough for Raila Odinga. He has several options, one of them supporting Kalonzo, one of them running, and one of them even choosing a, 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 a team to support, or maybe Raila Odinga himself deciding to retire. But Raila Jr. can enter into politics in 2022. Because this is the right time. If you want to win, you must start early. So I think the entry of uh, Junior in Kibra this early could be tied, not 2022 election, sorry, I meant 2027, could be tied to 2027 election. I don't know what you think. That's my take. In case you're watching the channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without the support, this channel cannot be where it is. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.